Ever wonder how to find the exact area between two curves? Let's break it down super simply, step by step. We're asked to find the area between f of x equals x squared and f of x equals x cubed. First, let's sketch them using just three points each. Start with f of x equals x squared. If x is negative one, f of x is one. If x is zero, f of x is zero. If x is one, f of x is one. That makes a smooth U-shaped curve that opens upward. Now for f of x equals x cubed. If x is negative one, f of x is negative one. If x is zero, f of x is zero. If x is one, f of x is one. This one forms an S-shaped curve. Now, between zero and one, notice the difference. The x squared curve is higher than the x cubed curve. That small region between them is what we're finding the area of. They meet at x equals zero and x equals one. So our area is between those points. Now, how do we actually get that area? We divide the region into tiny vertical rectangles, each with an extremely small width called dx. The height of each rectangle is the difference between the two curves, the top curve minus the bottom curve. Each of those rectangles has a tiny bit of area, height times width. When we add up all of those infinitely many rectangles, we get the total area between the curves. The process of adding them up is what we call integration. So we are integrating these tiny rectangles over the interval from zero up to one. And the area of each rectangle is the length, which is x squared minus x cubed times the width, which is dx. When you integrate, x squared becomes 1 3rd x cubed and x cubed becomes 1 4th x to the fourth. Then evaluate it at one and zero, then take the difference at one, you get 1 3rd minus 1 4th, which equals 1 12th. At zero, everything is zero. So the total area between f of x equals x squared and f of x equals x cubed is 1 12th square units. Hence, the answer is D. Follow for more math tips.